This is SheTech, a day-long event where 250 high school girls throughout the Treasure Valley are encouraged to touch, explore, interact, and of course have fun. The hope is that the girls leave here with a better understanding of what it means to be an engineer, a scientist, to work in technology. Women make up only 21.6% of those working in science, technology, engineering, and math fields in Idaho. And of the 333 computer science graduates at Idaho's universities in 2015, only 50 were female. I think that our society has done a disservice to these fields, and somehow we've branded them as male male dominated fields and so girls aren't even attracted to them. Alicia Hubing, co-founder of Women Innovators in Boise, is working to change that. We're really trying to figure out how do we rebrand engineering for girls and women because um, you know they need to see role models so that's what we're here today. But events like these aren't just about creating gender equality. STEM professionals will help solve the problems of tomorrow. And Hooping argues without more women in STEM professions, tomorrow's innovations and discoveries can only go so far. You know, this morning when I was talking to them, when I was talking to all of the girls, I posed the question, do you want your dad, your brother, your boyfriend, or your favorite male influence in your life solving all of the world's problems for you? Do they understand your needs completely? And they all, it was a resounding no, ew. It happened last year to Fitbit, when they came under fire for a flaw in their menstruation tracker on Versa Watch, a watch that was supposed to be more female focused. But its software limited tracking a menstrual cycle to 10 days, leaving one reviewer to write, locking the entire female population into a 10 day period makes me wonder how many women were involved in creating this feature. Please fix. I mean, we're the ones that solve these problems, and so we need a diverse group of people to solve them so we can represent all of the different needs and constituents. Idaho is making strides in STEM education overall, especially when it comes to computer science. Computing careers are expected to grow 14% over the next five years. And by next year, the state's goal is to offer at least one computer science course for every high schooler in the state, with all middle and elementary schools offering one by 2022. Really what we're trying to show is that it's for everybody. So that young women like Taylor Lark from Eagle High. I absolutely love math and science, so I kind of want to see if I can combine those things and maybe get a degree in engineering. And Emma Pittman from Meridian Medical Arts Charter. Computer science is where I'm going. And Olivia Prezano from Bishop Kelly. I'm really into biology, so I like the like, idea of mixing the biological studies and math studies. Can be part of the problem solvers of tomorrow.